Toyota presents FC Dallas Extra Time, an all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. Ahead in the next 30 minutes, FC Dallas hoisted its first club trophy in 20 years. Don't miss the emotional celebration after FC Dallas won the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Dallas are the 2016 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup winners. And Oscar Perea's side have ended a long, long drought in Texas. The first silverware for some 19 years for this club. And while Maxi Arruti has taken the art of celebrating after a goal to a new level, we wanted to see just how good he is on another playing field. Plus, we're getting you ready for a huge match against the best team in the East, New York City FC, right now on FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. Welcome to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you each and every week by Toyota. I am Gina Miller alongside FC Dallas midfielder Victor Ulloa. So glad that you can be here with thank us you, tonight. Thank you for having me again. It is FC Dallas playing New York City FC for the first time ever at Yankee Stadium. More on that in a minute because we are talking to a champion. FC Dallas beat the New England Revolution in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup championship match on Tuesday to hoist the club's just second ever championship trophy what a night earlier this week yeah great great result so happy uh we talked about it this whole time we wanted to make history we wanted to bring a trophy to to this fan base and to our families and so happy that we're able to do that even more special that it's named after the patriarch of fc dallas the lamar hunt trophy is truly back where it belongs don't you think absolutely uh we knew what what important it was for for this organization, for this club, and so happy that we could bring it back home. And you mentioned something that I think is is really important. You know, this team has been on top of the MLS standings all throughout the year. Best team in the league right now from a points perspective. But And, and you've said this yourself, as a captain, it's about trophies now, isn't it? Absolutely. I think that the focus, at the beginning of the year, we talked about it. We wanted to to win trophies and, and be remembered and, and make history. And we, we knew we had the team, and we were getting prepared to do that this year. And, we're at a point now where we're at a good spot and we're ready to make a run for the MLS Cup. And I remember talking to you earlier in the season um, when you were on this show, second second show of the season, and, and, and you mentioned, you know what, the way we finished last year, it's really motivated us because we were on top of the standings all last year. We lost the Supporters' Shield by goal differential, you know, and that almost taught you guys, didn't it? Every team counts, every game, I should say. Every game counts. It's all so important as we move forward. Yeah, we take the that experience from last year for sure, and we knew we wanted to to compete. And like you said, every every game is important. Every point, every goal. And I think the the players that were here last year and had that experience really really took that to heart. And the players that were brought in, they they really helped the team out a lot. As we're rounding third and sort of heading home on the 2016 MLS regular season, how do you reflect back on the season for you personally? You're fresh off a goal, your second goal of the year. Um, and, but but this year, I think, is different for you than it was perhaps in seasons past. Yeah, I think uh, the competition in, in my position this year was was tougher. Uh, they brought in a guy like Carlos Grueso, national team for Ecuador, World Cup. So, I mean, it, it's good we, we competed for that spot, and actually it helped us both. It made each other better. Uh, he learned from me, I learned from him, and, and, and we got to rest a little bit. Uh, the rotation this year, I think the coach managed it very well, and I mean, we're always excited to play. We want to play every game, but I think that competition, that inner competition and, and training every day has really helped us grow and helped this team. You mentioned the rotation. I mean, it's it's always so interesting whenever there is competition with a position or at a position or anytime there's particular depth at any spot on a club, that depth always tends to manifest itself in a good way, don't you think? Whether it be from international call-ups or various injuries, you, you guys always end up at the end of the day getting a lot of PT. Yeah, I think that everybody's always ready for that opportunity. And I mean, we prepared really well in preseason and everybody's ready to step up and you, we see that again and again even when, when the guys go to the national team. So what was this week like for you? You told me off camera earlier this was the most important week for FC Dallas in, in quite some time. What was it like for you from a preparation standpoint? Because yeah, you had Colorado on Saturday, 72 hours later you had the New England Revolution in the championship match and then now you had to quickly put that in your rearview mirror. Couldn't celebrate too much because you had to get ready for New York City FC. Yeah, it was important for us to to take each game like a final, and uh, I think the guys and and the, the coach and staff did did that very well. They managed us and, and that rotation, like like we talked about, and just so happy that we could bring up back a trophy. 
And uh, yeah, quick turnaround. The MLS Cup is still up for grabs. Yeah. So we, we talk about winning trophies. We, we, that's what we want to do. You have a tough stretch of opponents coming up. New York City FC tonight. You played a playoff opponent last Saturday against Colorado. Two matches against the LA Galaxy left in the regular season. This schedule is tough the rest of the way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, our schedule has been it's been kind of tough this past few months. And I mean, it's getting down to the last few games of the season and everybody's trying to get above that red line to qualify for, for playoffs. And we're playing a great team, uh, best team in the, in the East. And we're excited. Uh, first time playing at the Yankee Stadium. So we'll see how that goes. We'll dive deeper into that a little bit later in the show. But we are just getting started here on FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. Still ahead, we are taking a look back at that memorable night here at Toyota Stadium on Tuesday in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup match.